I'd like to find the road we roam together, swinging along, finding the long way home. We didn't mind the time or place for weather, singing a song, finding the long way home. Remember, I used to sigh at the end of each day, dear. What is happening, explorers? Right, look at this shack or cottage way back at the end of this driveway. Now, hopefully, you can hear me from the festive season traffic behind me on a highway and it's pretty windy too so obviously I'm gonna trek down this driveway and check it out it looks like it's an oldie whole bunch of tires kind of surrounding it by the look as well let's go It's almost like they've made an enclosure, kind of a little barrier with those top tires. Well, in pretty rough shape there's a tree falling over in front of it it's a bit of an outbuilding out the back there let's go and see what's left look at all these trees seen better days as well there is one big palm there and I just noticed there's actually a, uh, a power pole next to the home so it definitely had power Definitely an old home, but it's kind of got those bungalow veranda pillars there. A couple of old seats, a bit... Um, the previous residents used to love sitting out there. Yeah, this is a uh, fieldstone it's a very early cottage. Looks like there was a doorway there. They've filled it in. And there is the power pole next to the palm. So windy. There's bees coming and going from that uh, vent. No doubt there's a hive in there somewhere. Jeez. And 
pigeons. You can hear them already. Damn. Just get a look here first. That's another old seat. Well, oh, there goes a pigeon. Damn, the ceilings of. Uh... Oh, that was a cocky. A cockatoo as well. <laughs> this place is going to be absolutely covered in. Well, it looks like all the furniture was left behind. Oh, there's an old stereo there as well. Actually, that's. That, not that you can tell, that's a big stereo speaker. Well, combined with natural decay, I would say a lot of people have stopped off over the years and had a look through here and turn the place upside down as well. Yeah. Yeah, there's an old bed there, a wardrobe. But those things didn't stand a chance because the ceiling's missing. What's well, come down on top of it as well. Hmm. Jesus, there's remnants of old Christmas cards and stuff down there. Well, underneath all that, literally underneath all the crap, there is probably some cool old things still left behind, but I ain't digging through it. There's a little ladder there. Maybe there was a little loft area. Oh, there was. Looks like there was some extra little room up in there. Hmm. There's another room over here. Oh, this one's actually got some coloured glass left in the windows. Check it out. Well, the ceiling's still intact. But there's still a mess in here. one of those old uh, hammocks, isn't it? Not sure. Okay, there's a newspaper. Whoa, Leighton Hewitt. It's got to go back to the early 2000s. There we go. January 2000. It's actually a bunk, a bunk bed thing. Well, unless that newspaper was dumped here, this place is really copped a hammering in 23 years 
24 years. Now this is the old stereo I was talking about. Barely recognisable. But there is a turntable in there. And the cassette player there. Right. Huh. Look at that woodwork. ceiling hadn't have come down we probably would have been able to see a little bit more but everything is just covered or hidden under bird poo well, there's a, a somewhat recent toaster in that box a Tiffany one the jug. Yeah, you hey, there's the matching jug for it. Now, that is an old cabinet. It's empty. There's a little storage nook. Look at that uh, cement sheet, it's kind of fallen right where I need to go. Well, I think this was the kitchen. There was some plumbing over on that windowsill as well. under there. Wow. Kind of looks like a workspace. It looks like a big workbench there. See up in there. Kind of looks like there was. I don't know. Maybe though it's like tarpaulin and stuff. Maybe there was a few leaks and they had to repair them. Okay, well this is an extended laundry area. With something walking up in the roof. Probably a possum. Or pigeons. Pigeons. Oh yeah, there's the what's left of the toilet. And there's a shower cubicle over there. Yeah, it's just too trash this place. There's a 
tiny little red. Oh, it's a clock radio. Oh yeah, there's another beehive. Bees coming and going from in between that door. And that carport or whatever it was over there. It's also an old stone built one. has totally collapsed. Not sure what this was. Looks like a chicken coop or something. Maybe. Yeah. Not sure. just set back in the middle of the uh, bush scrub this old place yeah, it must have been even pretty dilapidated when the last residents were in here even if it was the early 2000s there it's just a whole heap of junk here by the look Tail lights off a car. Actually, it looks like it's all bits and pieces from cars. There might have been another little shed there. Alright, so. This outbuilding, I think, housed maybe a car and uh, there was a bit of a second part beside it, but it's all collapsed. But this little part here, you can see, it lines straight up with the driveway, all the way down there. That was a carport, but next to it, this was definitely an enclosure maybe for the chooks. It's totally enclosed over the top as well. Or could have been anything in there, maybe pigs or something. Well, that is it. And I'm sure it was a nice place at one time, but it's just kind of hard to see that through all of the crap. It's kind of hard to believe that even in 2000 someone was in here, but as soon as the ceiling comes down, This is what happens. Alright, well I'll probably put this in a compilation or something with some other old dilapidated ones. At least we got a look at it. I've driven past this a few times. And you can see it from the highway, so now I know what's here. Alright guys, on to the next one. See you there. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye. Explorers. 
another roadside find while out checking a few others. This one looks in very, very rough shape, so I'll still do a quick walkthrough, but definitely great for photography and a nice rustic countryside photo. Could definitely be taking some photos, but yeah, she's fallen apart and I can see the floor was a bit dodgy. Old bullnose veranda. Would have looked beautiful when it was in its prime. Uh, uh oh, there's a dead sheep. That may be a fox kill, that one. Oh yeah, would have had beautiful lead light there. Long gone, eh? And there's the floor, not much left. But at some point, someone was getting up into that roof. Oh, with the pigeons. Alright, well, see if there's anything left. A door. This might have been a really ornate old farm villa back in the day because that's beautiful old Victorian ceiling rosette there. And looks like there was some electricity added or at least lighting. But um, look at the picture rail up there. It goes all the way around. Plaster and lathe. Yeah. Looks like they had the electricity added. So much pigeon poo around. Oh, you can hear them all up there. It's all right. Well, there's not much to see there, guys. Floor's been saved and the mantle's gone. No archway. I got the picture rail as well. Oh, sorry, the coat and hat rack. Yeah, not much left at all. Might have been. Uh, that's a decent sized fireplace, but maybe had the old cast iron stove in the air. I reckon it did. All right. Well, looks like there was a power point there. Wonder if it was a generator. Run off a generator. Didn't notice the power pole out there, but oh, there's a power point. Now that's a that's a 50s or 60s looking one. Oh, this is the the main room, probably the living room, it's the largest room. Another big ceiling rose there too. And another power point. Oh, this one had a big, or big ornate mantle. You can see the outline of it there. So would have loved to have seen this one in its prime. It's definitely got the charm on the outside still. There's just nothing left in here. So yeah, when it was vacated, they ripped up the floors and took the doors and the door trims. The rest is natural decay, but 
it's far from even being recognizable as a living space all right well whatever was out here's fallen over oh yeah the old lean-to area would have been laundry and maybe an original kitchen there's an old fridge It's been turned into a bit of a cattle yard over there too. Sheep. Yeah, I would say the old dunny in laundry was out here somewhere. Just thought I'd throw in a bit of a pan around the landscape. Yeah, it's definitely a, a Victorian built home, Victorian era, late. You can tell by the roof. And the ceiling roses and the plaster and lathe. Yeah, whatever was there. Fallen over a fair while ago. I did notice a little bit of an add-on kind of thing through this way. Oh yeah, well, well those two chains and the uh, wire coming down, there was a fluoro light hanging off there. What's this old machine? Grain feeder, is it? going up the road. It's a pretty secluded area but um, this is that add-on I was talking about. Definitely a later addition. Still pretty old though. Melson says incorp incorporoda well wow. one remnant of a bit of furniture well it's got even doesn't even have the bottoms to the drawers but it's got the old whoa it's got the old art deco handles Don't know, maybe this was used as an extra bedroom or something. Oh, there's the old lino remnants. Well, that's about it. Yeah, I'll probably put this in a short, well, a compilation video with a few other old homes that are in ruin. Well, I'll keep trekking on to the one I was actually heading to. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Cheers, bye. Remember I used to sigh at the end of each day.